With so many amazing players out there amidst the ever-changing competitive landscape, knowing who the best players of a given character are is crucial to being in touch with the state of the meta. How's it going, Smashers? My name is Bonk, and in this series, we'll be taking you through the best players of every character in Smash Ultimate. We'll be going through them in roster order, and in this video, we'll be picking up right where we left off, starting with Kirby. If you want to be the best with your character, there's no better place than ProGuides.com, where you can learn from the best with our 24-7 live coaching and courses taught by pros. Don't forget to check us out over on the website after the video. Before we get into today's video, we'd like to apologize. In our previous installment, we said some things that, in hindsight, we recognize were not particularly kind. We assure you that no harm was meant, and we at ProGuides respect DK Will and his contributions to the community, as well as the DK metagame. We messed up, and we promise it won't happen again. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Kirby is an interesting character, as he's one of few who can be said to have kept the exact same pool of representatives in the transition from Smash 4 to Smash Ultimate. Mike Kirby, Komoda, Poyo, and even players like Supergirl Kells and Uto who used him as a pocket would continue to see success with Kirby upon the release of the new game. While these players would continue to be notable with the character for some time, none would see the same success as just we Shok. Shok could be considered somewhat of a veteran, and you may be surprised to find that he has actually played every game in the Smash series. He had only begun to take it seriously with the release of Smash 4, where he would become a semi-notable Wi-Fi warrior before attending his first offline events in early 2017. While he was never the greatest, the seeds of substantial growth had already been planted, and when Smash Ultimate came out, he hit the ground running. Shoke would regularly attend tournaments in early 2019, jumpstarting his career with a list of wins over many strong European talents, including the likes of Pew, Homika, and Otakuni, among many others. This would provide a solid foundation for his later performances, where he would go on to cement himself as the best Kirby in the world with his 33rd place finish at Albion 4, a performance he would immediately follow up with his 13th place finish at Vienna Challengers Arena 2019. Of course, you can't mention Shoke without talking about his run at Smash for Glory Ultimate Badass Edition, an event where he would take a dominant set win over Gluttony, number 8 on the PGR and the best player in Europe, making him one of three European players to do so. If you're curious, the others are Meru and Space, who are currently ranked top 5 on the European Power Rankings. If Shok doesn't quite do it for you, some other Kirby players you might want to check out are Komoda, Farakuma, and Supergirl Kells. The next character we'll be taking a look at is Fox. While a number of his strongest representatives in Smash 4 would go on to drop the character coming into Smash Ultimate, Fox is not lacking in representation in the slightest. Whether it's at Majors or at the regional level, this character is definitely getting his fair share of results. Between the likes of Louie Money, Pyceriman, and ZD, there is a lot of competition for the title of Best Fox, but they might as well be fighting for second place. That's because the best Fox in Smash Ultimate is easily Light. In Smash 4, Light was considered one of the best Fox mains in the world, second only to Larry Lur by the release of the PGR 100. He had begun to come into prominence near the end of the game's run, with his breakout event arguably being his ninth place finish at Shine 2017. With Larry dropping the character in favor of Wolf and Light continuing to improve at a spectacular rate coming into Ultimate from Smash 4, the conditions were perfect for him to secure his spot as the best Fox player and as the 10th best player overall on both the Spring 2019 and Fall 2019 editions of the PGRU. With an outstanding track record of top 32 performances at quite literally every major and super major Ultimate has had, including convincing wins over the likes of MKLeo, Samsora, Tweak, and countless others, it's evident that Light is the best player to ever do it with the character. If you find yourself short of Fox gameplay to watch though, some others you might want to check out are Louie Money, Pyceriman, ZD, and Fwed. 
There isn't much to be said regarding Pikachu's representation in Smash Ultimate. His only representative to see any massive mainstream success has quite literally been the same person for the past three games. He was the best Pikachu in Brawl, he was the best Pikachu in Smash 4, and he is still the best Pikachu in Smash Ultimate. If you haven't figured it out by now, it's Esam. Esam boasts an extensive list of lifelong achievements, including 7th at Genesis 6, 25th at Evo 2019, 9th at Shine 2019, 4th at Genesis 7, not to mention his first place finish at Glitch 7, making him the first Pikachu to win a major, all without dropping a single set. While very few Pikachu players can begin to approach Esam's legacy, some notable ones you might want to keep an eye out for in the future include DM, Lalo, Kishiru, and Shiny Mark. Luigi is another character whose representation has remained largely the same in the transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Holding on to a title he's held arguably since as early as 2016, Elegant returns as the best Luigi in Smash Ultimate. With impressive performances at various events such as his 33rd place at Smash and Splash 5, 17th at EVO 2019, and 13th at Frostbite 2020, Elegant is the only Luigi to consistently perform at the major level. He possesses a number of impressive set wins as well, with some of his most notable victories including names like Samsora, Light, Shuton, and Esam. Luigi is a genuinely unpopular character, and in terms of honorable mentions, some you might want to look into are Navy and SMB. Next in line is Ness, and this is one we're sure anyone could pick out from a mile away. It should come as no surprise that the best Ness is, well, Gact. What? Were you expecting someone else? <clears throat> anyway. Let's take it back a little bit to Smash 4, where Gact was, unsurprisingly, the best NES player in Japan. He didn't travel as frequently then as he does now, but when he did, he definitely made it count. Aside from his wins over some of Japan's best, including names like Abadongo, Atelier, and Sue, his sparse overseas appearances would allow him to net some impressive wins over the likes of Tamim and Anti, just to name a couple. This would leave Gact well poised to claim the title of Best Ness coming into Smash Ultimate, and he would waste no time at all. Right out of the gates, he started strong with a commendable 33rd place at Frostbite 2019, a performance he would immediately follow up with a 49th place finish at Smash and Splash 5, 49th at Evo 2019, and a monstrous 13th at 2GG Congo Saga. He would be able to mark down his first year of Smash Ultimate as a major success, and in this impressive run of overseas events, he would pick up convincing set wins over a number of notable competitors, including the likes of Cosmos, Komei, and Void. Naturally, he does just as well back in his home country of Japan, where he regularly places in the top 32 of Umabura and Sumabato events, with wins over some strong regional talents such as T, Choco, Leia, and I'm. With results like these, there's no question about whether Gact is really the best Ness. That being said, there are still a number of very strong Ness players, and he's an unsurprisingly very popular character at most levels of play. Some honorable mentions are Send, Austin, Foe, and S1. The last character we'll be looking at in this video is Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon is a character who has a very dedicated player base, and while he is a character that you could say is made by his community, one player in particular has carried the torch farther than any other. That player is Fatality. While many would argue that the best Captain Falcon could actually be Nick C, he simply hasn't been to as many tournaments, kinda like YB with Samus. With Fatality's recent performances, including his 5th place at Infinity Con and 2nd place at Ultimate Wanted 3, the gap in results only continues to grow. With the career-long list of set wins including names like Kamehameha, Raito, Cola, and Mr. E, we can say with certainty that Fatality is the best Captain Falcon. From his 17th place finishes at Frostbite in CEO 2019, all the way up to his 25th at Super Smash Con 2019, and his 9th place performance at Glitch 8, Fatality is easily the most consistent Captain Falcon player in Smash Ultimate. And while there aren't many that are on his level quite yet, some players deserving of honorable mentions are Nixie, Andric, and Nishia. 
That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, Smashers. Do you agree with our picks? What characters are you looking forward to seeing us cover? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. That's all, and we'll see you guys in the next video.